Hi everybody, I'm Tim Fidelli, play-by-play voice of the Charlotte Rush. We are in the Charlotte Rush Coach's Office here at the H3 My Center, home of the Charlotte Rush. And it's our midweek report here on this Thursday, October the 25th. We're going to talk Charlotte Rush Premier Hockey right now with the head coach of the Charlotte Rush, Lenny Childs. And Lenny, first of all, let's recap those two big wins over the Carolina Eagles last weekend. And first of all, I want to tell our viewers the Rush has won 13 games in a row. They are now 13-2 and on the season, just in second place right now, just below uh, first place. But let's talk about Saturday's game, Lenny, first against Carolina. Uh, you had a big 5-2 uh, to two win, and that hotline, they are just unstoppable right now. They scored four of your five goals. Uh, that, of course, Antonio Demacopoulos, uh, Billy Barry, and Matthew Yon. Got a goal from Gino DeBlossis and a solid effort from Nick D'Antonio. Talk about the highlights of that game, Lenny. Hey, you know, really uh, came out actually a little bit slow mm-hmm. uh, in that game. Um, but the, the guys battled back and really showed some resiliency throughout and Obviously, you know, those guys are, are known to put the puck in the net, and, and they, uh, they worked hard. They worked hard to get, mm. be able to make those plays, and uh, actually, our defense was, was really good. I was really happy with our defensive mm. core that game. Uh, so our forwards kind of left them out to dry a few times, mm. and, and they were able to take care of it with, with D'Antonio back there. So, uh, a decent game against the off, really slow, happy with how we finished. Uh, not, not a typical game for us, though. Mm. Okay. Well, the Rush did win the game, though, 5-2 to two Sunday. On the uh, second game with the two-game series, the Rush winning by a score of 4-1. to one. And in this game, Lenny, you did get some secondary scoring. Got a nice goal from Philip Shemyakin, Shane Hammer. Got a goal from the D uh, in Ryan Newman. And again, Nick D'Antonio D- was in goal again. So another 4-1. to one. And I uh, think also, too, you got a couple of power play goals. So the special teams were also clicking in that game. Yeah, yeah, we were. In that. I think actually uh, Jack Wright was in the net there. Oh, okay, uh, I'm sorry. But, yeah. uh, no, no, no worries, but... Um, those guys were uh, great seeing those guys work hard and, and work hard payoff. Jim Yak and the guys out there shooting maybe a thousand bucks a day mm-hmm. nonstop. Uh, Hammer's been on the puddle just nonstop working and, and getting next. You know, at our D been working nonstop and taking mm-hmm. video we've, we've been putting in, and uh, especially a guy like Ryan Newman who was mm-hmm. popping the point and just us telling him to shoot puck more, right? So mm-hmm. uh, those guys it kind of shows the hard work they're putting in, and I was glad those guys were able to get rewarded in that game. So, again, a sweep by the Charlotte Rush this past weekend over the Carolina Eagles. It's our in-state rival. It's always uh, a big battle with those two guys, but the Rush able to prevail, uh, winning the two games in Carolina. And again, my apologies. It was Jack Rydell in goal for the Rush in that game on Sunday. Well, again, the Rush now with a record of 13-2. and two. Lenny, we're in second place right now. And, again, uh, you're keeping an eye on the standings, and it's still kind of early yet as uh, – that uh, November showdown with the Hampton Roads Whalers here at the Extreme Ice Center in Looming. But we have still four more big games before that, right? And, of course, we have to uh, uh, take a look now at the uh, Atlanta Junior Kings. And uh, Kevin Sh- St. Jock does a good job with that program, Lenny, and uh, I'm sure those guys will be competitive. What can you tell us about Atlanta? Uh, they, they actually gave us uh, probably one of our toughest games to, mm. to date um, here at the Showcase. They were... Uh, they were fired up. They were ready to play. They were they were hunting. They were doing a lot of really good things. So it's gonna be a battle this weekend. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, so we've been we've been making sure that guys are prepared for it. Um, good fast team, young team. Uh, Kevin knows what he's doing over there. So definitely gonna be a, gonna be a great test this weekend. Lenny, have you decided who's gonna play in goal for you this weekend? Uh, no, we're not not yet. We uh, four week practice, so we'll, we'll know okay. after Friday's practice, and uh, we want guys to have their eyes on the prize and make sure they know mm-hmm. what the, the next step is, and, and obviously you know daily. Performance based uh, is what we're all based off of here. It's good competitive spirit. I'm sure that uh, is good for the coaches and the players as well. Definitely, definitely. We're talking with Lenny Childs, head coach of the Charlotte Rush Premier and also the assistant general manager for the Charlotte Rush here on this weekday, uh, Thursday, or a midweek report. And Lenny, it's sure going to be good to get back at home. We haven't been here at home for a whole month now. It's hard to believe it's been a month now since the showcase. I mean, it just seems like it was yesterday, yeah. but it's been a whole month. But I know you and the guys are looking forward to finally getting back here on home ice this weekend. Yeah, I definitely love being at home in front of, uh, obviously, the people we have here to, to watch us. And um, definitely being home just to be able to, to sleep in your own bed and, and get right after it. So, uh, yeah, be, you know, we, we love playing at home. We love protecting our, our house here. And, uh, yeah, guys can't wait. You know, a lot of people don't really understand and it's okay, but understand what the travel is like in this league. But especially for the coaches, 
Uh, you know, you go there on Saturday and you play Carolina. The elite guys play first. They get to go back to the hotel, get some earlier rest. But you and John are still here, of course. You're going to coach both games. Uh, who knows what time you guys get to sleep. Then you got to get up early and be back here uh, for the early game. And I remember in the movie 13 Days, Lenny, uh, President John F. Kennedy uh, was talking to Defense Secretary Robert McNamara. And he said, uh, Robert, he said, you need to get some more sleep. And uh, Robert turned to me and said, sleep is for the week, Mr. President. But I can understand you guys probably don't get much sleep on these road trips, especially you and John. Yeah, no, it's uh, you know, it's, it's part of it, and, that, and that's uh, that's actually the fun part is being mm-hmm. able to be prepared for the week so that your weekends you're, there's less of the preparing to do mm-hmm. kind of done, right? So, okay. uh, no, for us it's uh, you know it's fun to see that guys want to stay and support the other teams too, right? So they don't want to even so that mm-hmm. they're going back. To ah, the okay. Uh, okay. But yeah, for us it's like that's why we're here. We, we we love it. We love uh, we love seeing how where we are from week to week and and uh, from game to game. So we. Uh, no complaints here. This is the uh, fun part. All right, good. Just thought I'd let our uh, viewers know what it's like, and it's not always easy, but uh, these guys enjoy it so much it really doesn't bother them when they don't get a lot of sleep on these road trips. One last uh, question and comment I want to get from Lenny. Uh, Lenny, you know, the opening weekend against Hampton Roads, uh, we had that disturbance at the end of Game 1. Uh, they canceled the game on Sunday. And again, I'm going to give my personal opinion here, not trying to throw the league under the bus, but I'm really kind of shocked that they did not play that second game or even attempt to make it up. Did you, Ryan Crothers, Joshua Langwa, did you have any conversations with the league about being able to play that game again, or is it pretty much a done deal? It's just off the schedule right now. You know, not yet. We, uh, you know, there's there's obviously quite quite a few games last a lot of months, so... Um you know, probably not out of the question if they'd let us, you know, mm-hmm. things up blow over. Team, both, both teams are doing really well. Mm-hmm. There's been no shake up whatsoever. So um, hopefully, hopefully the league says that we can, we can play again. We'd love to play again. Uh, obviously, get that extra game in there. So uh, in, in due time, in due time, obviously, you want to take care of the next the next five steps that we have here. And then maybe we'll go back and see what we can do for that. All right. Well, good. That's good to know. It's not a total done deal right now. And again, not trying to be critical of the league, but uh, I think it would really do them well to be able to have that game. Uh, get played, you know, Lenny, especially for the guys that want to play a game. These guys love to play, and now they're denying them a game, and especially for the guys that weren't even involved in that, you know. Yeah, exactly. Go from 44 games to 43 is, uh, you might not see that, that big of a deal, but it is. Like, mm-hmm. you're, right now we're at back number 31, you know, and, and that, uh, that, that's starting to creep into, you know, the, the middle of the year right now. So uh, having that extra game is one more thing that we can look forward to, and obviously for our guys to go out beat. Mm-hmm. Well, let's hope for the best on that one, and we'll ch- touch base with Lenny later on in the season and see if maybe uh, the league will change its mind on that. Lenny, these are the best of times right now for the Charlotte Russia team is playing great. Uh, congrats for the two big wins against Carolina, and looking forward to hopefully a couple of more wins this week against the Atlanta Junior Kings. I hope so. Thanks, Lenny. All right. Thank you, Lenny. That's Lenny Chops, head coach of the Charlotte Russia Premier, also the assistant general manager of the Rush. Well, again, uh, please visit our Charlotte Rush YouTube site, also our social media platforms of Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. A lot of photos, videos, and information about the Rush, and of course, you can always go to our Charlotte Rush website as well to get complete information on the Charlotte Rush. Well, thanks to our cameraman, Anthony Pagnotta from the Carolina School of Broadcasting for uh, running the camera for us today. And again, uh, I'm Tim Donnelly. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.